guys, I'm the Big Big Gamer. Welcome back to another tutorial where today. As you can see, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Minecraft mod for Minecraft 1.12. Now, I did make a Minecraft mod tutorial for 1.10.2, but I decided to make a brand new series for 1.12, and I will do episodes of this often. I don't usually do episodes of modding often, but I will do episodes of 1.12 often. So, yeah, anyways, let's just get straight into it. And when I said, um another tutorial i wasn't saying like i've done well like i was basically saying that I've, I'm, I've done tutorials before but just like i i didn't do like already do an episode of modding for what we but anyways here we go so um the first thing you do is you need to get forge forge is very very important for modding and yeah so you just need to get um i would recommend get the latest for mdk right here so it'll bring you to add focus and, um, two, one, and, uh, just click the skip button, and you should get Forge 1.12 MDK. So, um, what you need to do is you need to go to desktop, and I have a folder where all my mods are. This is just for, right like, off-camera fun stuff. And so we're gonna make a new folder, and what should we, let's call it Tutorial 1.12. There you go, tutorial 1.12, and in that folder, we're going to open this, and uh, we have all this stuff in here, and, oh, looks like they have a gradle.properties, so, yeah, if, um, hold on, let me, yeah, it's still recording, good. Um, basically, um, um, like, sometimes, like, for me, like, like, when I'm modding off camera, like, there's, it, like, fails, like, in decompile MC for the Eclipse code, I think, so, um, but this Gradle Properties fixes everything. Looks like they um, have one now. Look, so yeah, so you want to Control A and drag all that stuff in your modding folder. And there you go. Okay, right. So well, the next thing you're gonna need to download is Eclipse. Now Eclipse is very important because this is where we're gonna code. Yes, this is a coding series. Well, don't worry. I got you. <laughs> I got you back so um yeah just so i'm um, download eclipse you can download any build you want i guess you can download all these i have eclipse mars dot one and yeah so another thing you're gonna need is java jdk you need java jdk for this to work and if you don't know how to install it watch a video on how to do it or just like like um just go to like yeah just go around the tour because i already have java jdk installed or you could do it yourself. I mean, installing Java is not that bad. Um, and once you have all that, um, here's where you're going to need to do. You're going to need to go to this PC. You're going to need to go to Windows, whatever. <laughs> you're going to need to go to Program Files. Wait, no, 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 no. You need to right-click Properties. Um, and then go to Advanced System Settings. And Environment Variables. And then make a new one called Java Home. Home, sorry, you can't speak. And um, then go to here, program files, um, Java. And here's um, here's my JDK right here, JDK 1.7.0 underscore 70. Wait a second, <laughs> I'm gonna go to this program files because I think that's where my other yeah there there's my other JDKs. Um, so I'll use this one as an example. Uh, and then you just go to here. You copy this path. Here, you copy this and put it in here. Make sure it's called Java Home like that. Then you're going to need to go to your path. So edit, uh, make a new one, and just hit new. And then you're going to want to go to bin, bin, and then copy this and paste it into here. So you have just uh, so it just hit OK, OK, um, exile this and exile this. So now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to your little modding folder, so tutorial, and then shift, right click, open PowerShell. Okay, let's do PowerShell. Okay, so um, I, if you have PowerShell, just do PowerShell. <laughs> and then what you're going to need to type is gre, 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 gre. Oh, this is, this is not working well. This is not working well. Okay. Um... All right, let's go to a C C C C C C. Um, oh jeez, I don't know what's going on. It says open PowerShell window here, and I can't do any code in that. All right, let's go to CMD. CMD, CMD, CMD. Okay, there you go. And um, let me edit the. Oh, I can't edit the path. Let's try this. Great. Oh jeez. 
Alright. I'll be right back when I fixed everything. Oh okay, guys, I'm back and I just figured out what I can do. So um what so if you have um open PowerShell window here, just do this and then put C D and then uh, do this and paste it in there. And there you go. Awesome. Now we could do the code. So um I'll put the code description below. Um so do grade woo set up D comp workspace. And then it's going to do a bunch of stuff. It's going to download all this. Um, and, um, yeah, so I'll see you guys when it is done or I got an error for some reason. All right, guys, I'm back, and um, it says build successful, or it should say anyway. Hopefully it works for you. If it didn't, then just try doing this or something like that. But anyways, um, so it took 24 minutes and 18 seconds to do that. <laughs> I was just sitting up in my bed watching Log does it. But anyways, um, we have one more code to do, which is Greylu Eclipse. And, um, I think that, like, ma says, like, you're using Eclipse to code. I have no idea. Um, well, yeah, hopefully this one takes a lot shorter. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so I'll see you guys when it is done. Alright, so, as you can see, it says build success... I can't even speak. Build su successful. And it only took 2 minutes and 15 seconds for that one, which is good, because the other one took, um, 24 minutes. So, if that code failed as well, I don't know what to tell you, or just try and watch... Or just try it again, or something like that. But anyways, if it did work for you, then congratulations. So, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to here... And we're going to launch Eclipse. So we're going to launch Eclipse. So, yeah. Okay. EXE. And, okay. Right. Um. So, when it comes up for the first time, when you launch it for the first time, it should say, like, oh, set up a workspace. That's completely normal. Um. I can show you what to do. Um. Let me just wait for this to load. Yeah, it can take a bit to load, but, um, yeah, so it's gonna load all this stuff. And, come on, come on, Eclipse. You could do it, you could do it, Eclipse. Okay, let me close out of this. And, okay, right, um, so, um, we're gonna go to switch workspace and it should come up with this screen and then just hit browse um okay so this pc or whatever just go to wherever your little modding folder is so my micro mods that's where i store all my stuff and uh this one is okay tutorial 1.11.2 and go to the eclipse folder Oh, for what? What? What happens? Okay, my micro mods, story 1.12, Eclipse. There you go. All right, and then hit OK, and then it's gonna save the workspace, and then do all this stuff. Okay, that's gonna launch Eclipse again and load the workspace. And, yeah, so next episode, um, next episode we're gonna do the first files, like the proxies and stuff. Then, after that, we'll do a, our first item, and then blocks, and then, uh, maybe tools for that? Maybe creative tabs and food. Um, but, here we go. So, well, at, at the end, I meant to say, but anyways, so, yeah, any, but anyways, so as you can see, um, we have MDK example, let's open that. Source main Java and this example mod here. Um, you're actually going to delete this package in the second episode because we're going to make our own little thing and it's not responding. Hooray, that's amazing. But yeah, so um, we have example mod, all this stuff. Um, source main resource. We got MC mod dot info pack dot MC meta. It's like a. I think this is like a resource pack or something. And um, we can like make our mod ID and stuff. We'll do that in the second episode as well. But um, let's just um, launch Minecraft. We also have source main stuff. But anyways, let's launch Minecraft. 
and let's see how it does, see how it runs. So, yeah, so, um, basically you can, we're gonna make our own package, we're gonna make, like, it's gonna, like, have proxies, and we're gonna have our little main modding thing, we can make, like, we're gonna have a lot of fun in this series, I'm gonna have fun making these videos. So, yeah, alright. Anyways, let's hope that Minecraft doesn't crash, it shouldn't have any changes. Um... So, yeah, um, we can just check out some of uh, some stuff. There's Forge Source, and you got all this stuff. Bucket milk. <laughs> don't, don't see on the mic. Don't sneeze on the mic. It's the number one rule of Pig Pig Gamer. Don't sneeze on the mic. If you're new to my channel, that's the number one rule. Number one rule. Alright, so, um, this is just 1.12 stuff. And, oh, it looks like the hammer icon has changed. That's pretty cool. And, and uh, it, it used to spin. It doesn't spin anymore, though. Like, it used to, like, spin around like this. And I don't know how the heck it is moving when it's not responding. How is this moving as well? When it's not responding, it's usually just frozen. Like, frozen, and the screen turns white and a bunch of stuff. But... It's, like, this and this is still moving. If it is, then why, how is it not responding? Like, it's responding because it's moving. <laughs> so, technically, it's not not responding. So, yeah, um, I'll be right back when Minecraft launches. It takes a while to do on my computer for some reason. Okay, guys, we're in Minecraft. As you can see, we're in 1.12, and we have five mods loaded. So, we got Minecraft Forge, Minecraft, um, <laughs> Minecraft Coder Pack, and Forge Mod Loader. And we have our example mod here. And, yeah, so let's just make one called Modding Series. Creative, super flat, um, this is, I, I always use this seed for villages. And, let's get into a world. So, yeah. So, it looks like everything's doing fine, it didn't crash, that's good. If it did, then that means, that, if it did for you, that means you probably did something wrong in, in like, your, your CMD or something like that. Um, but it probably won't crash for you, since you didn't put any code yet. So, um, as you can see, I am lagging like nuts uh, for some reason. I'm a Steve. <laughs> Hello, I, I am a Steve. Um, oh my gosh, it's so laggy. Let me turn my render distance down a little bit. Oh, uh, we'll put it down to two. Um, V-Sync off. There you go, that's a little bit smoother. Alright. Let's find a village. Where could a village be? Aha, here's a village. Um, let me turn it up a little bit. Okay, right, there you go. Alright, we have a village, and it's sliding like crazy. I think it's because the eclipse stuff in the background. Um, I can go my settings real quick, fast. Bobbing, oh, well, you can turn clouds off. That's definitely gonna help. Decreased, smooth lighting. You can do maximum, okay. There you go, it's a, that's a little bit better. So... Yeah, so that is it for the first tutorial. This was just setting up the next episode. We're going to um, do the first files, and then after that, we'll add our first item. I'm going to add a red sapphire, because why not? <laughs> um, so, yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching episode 1 of Minecraft Mod for World War 12. I think this is going to be a very fun series, and I'm going to love making these videos for you guys. So, yeah, and and I guess for myself, just in case I forget. So, yeah, I'm going to have fun making these videos. And I bet you guys are going to enjoy them. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching episode 1. If you are excited for episode 2, then please give this video a big fat like. And if this happens to be your first video seen created by me, then please subscribe to join Team Pink Pink Wolfcat. And you can follow me on Google Plus right down there and Twitter or right down there in the description below. See, oh, I almost see I'm doing what I'm doing. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm really going to enjoy this series and, I'll, this series. and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!